and we are live all right welcome everybody to the long-awaited return of a world on fire uh where we last left off the party uh had traveled to the abyss in order to find out where the remnants of vatham's hunter's lodge had traveled to uh, they found themselves in uh, Grozit's Pleasure Palace, uh, and luckily did not have to partake in the pleasure in order to continue. However, they did have to go and retrieve a pillow for him, uh, a pillow that was apparently in the den of the Watching Wolf, uh, which was very surprising to everybody uh, who knows the Watching Wolf, which is the party. Um, mm -hmm. And they followed Grazit's instructions uh, down to uh, the sea and then descended underwater uh, with the help of some water breathing uh, to the... Uh, I think I... Did I call it the Tranquil Depth? I think that's what I called it. That or the Dreaming Depths, one of the two. I don't remember. Anyway, they found uh, a large mass of coral uh, and pushed their way through the coral to find uh, a uh, large um, clearing inside of the coral. Um, and inside of this opening, the, the, this, this clearing, uh, they found uh, the largest... Uh, black furred wolf any any of them had ever seen uh, lying sleeping on a gigantic pillow uh, and as they turned to leave saw that the coral had uh, closed in behind them and they could not leave uh, after Rowan placed her head on the pillow and fell asleep as well uh, it took the party uh, a while to uh, investigate the pillow, and for Vanya to remember the name of a children's story she heard when she was hanging out with the uh, Ashari, uh, where the name of the, the story uh, was the trigger word to wake people up from the pillow spell, uh, at which point the, uh, the large wolf awoke uh, and spoke to the party briefly uh, <clears throat> asking a couple questions about Asher uh, however he referred to Asher as something called Rosgris, uh before leaving uh, and then the party swam out of the large hole that he made in the coral cage before it shut uh, and then the party returned to Grazit's palace with the pillow, as promised. And Grazit told them that uh, the hunters of the lodge had uh, continued on away from his palace uh, in the direction of the Blood Circus, which was not far from his domain. Uh, and so the party would most likely have to go there in order to find out what's next uh, he gave them some words of advice saying that if they wanted to speak with the uh, the lord of the blood circus uh, a demon named Rakdos they would need to come up with some kind of performance that uh, would entertain him and hopefully uh, everybody has been thinking about that over the several weeks that we have not been playing. So, we pick back up with the party having left the Pleasure Palace and looking out over the barren waste of the abyss that lies ahead of them as they start making their way towards the Blood Circus. So, <clears throat> as the party is traveling, um, 
you find that the wastes of the abyss are quite barren. There's not a plant in sight. Uh, and there's kind of a thin howl that seems to permeate the air uh, as the wind just cuts across the rocky crags of the landscape. Uh, I would like everybody to make a perception check as well as you are traveling. All right. Looking good, Shulk. Uh, oh, yeah. Looking good. Oh, yeah. This is a great start. Any benefit? Is this mainly sight or sound? Uh, this is mainly sight. Okay. Yeah, you can't really hear anything over the sound of the wind. Yeah, we're average. We're doing, average. We're doing great, friend. Oh, yeah. boy. We're not average. We're below average. We Very are below average so right below now. average. And two of those are... I mean, average on a d20 is like an 11. Rowan, do you want to help at all? Or are you just kind of <laughs> staring off into the distance? <laughs> 24. No, I, I forgot I was muted, but I did click it. But it's just my... my ah, yes. 24. Really slow. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Apologies. Yeah. Uh, as the party is traveling across the barren wastes of the abyss, uh, Rowan, you are the first and only, apparently, uh, to notice um, off in the distance uh, strange black amorphous blobs. Don't like that. It's kind of hard to tell because... It's kind of like that, like, shimmering heat effect you get in the desert, even though there's not really mm -hmm. a sun in the abyss. Yeah, it's, but it's hard to tell. You can't really, like, you can make out, like, some mm -hmm. wings and some limbs, but you, you can't really make out the details because it's almost like the, the creature is, like, covered in this weird blob of darkness. And how far away did you say nope. it was? A few hundred feet. Does it look like it's moving towards us? Possibly. It's hard to tell. Um, guys? Did they mention anything about really dark, floating, gooey blobs down here? Does anyone heard about that before? Does that ring any bells? Um, I Very mean, Gra Grazit didn't mention anything, but if anybody would try to identify what this creature is based off of that description, they can make uh, either a Arcana or Religion check. Is this a fiend? Uh, this would be a fiend, yes. Thank you. Do I get advantage on it then? Then yes. Is my favorite enemy is a fiend? Yep. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Kayla. Listen, we are in the abyss. <laughs> I'm going to preface everything with, is this a fiend? <laughs> <laughs> My <laughs> favorite enemy button has not been used in a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. I feel you. So, uh... <laughs> Funny enough, uh, Vanya, you're unable to identify this uh, creature just from the description that Rowan gives. However, Gesh, Shilk, and Vatham all apparently know what it means. Um, what uh, Rowan just described uh, is a creature called a uh, Nabasu, which is a type of demon. Uh that is shunned by all other demon kind. Uh, so that really shows you <laughs> right away. Uh, the kind that of it's, friends. Yeah, it's it's pretty f like must be pretty fucking crazy if other nope. demons don't like it. Um, uh, nope. Yeah. So, uh, not surprising to find it just kind of out in the middle of the waste by itself 
if it has no friends amongst demon kind. Should we go around? Can we go around? <laughs> you can certainly try. Try and stealth our way through? Yeah. Aren't we just on like a flat open plains right now? <laughs> Uh, it's kind of, it's it's rocky, so it's not flat. It's you have to kind of like move up and down across the rocks. Blend in so, with the dead trees. One second, my food just got here. <laughs> Good. What the fuck do we do about the blob? <laughs> Say, if I could nope any harder right now, I would. So, so if you would like to uh, stealth, you can, like, try and, like, pick your way across the rocks so that it doesn't notice you. Uh, that would call for a group stealth check. Am I the only one with Pass Without Trace? Does anyone else have Why would you take that? You know, <laughs> you know if, if I could cash Pass Without Trace, that'd be great. But now we don't get that. I just don't know if Amity or Saga have it. Amity wouldn't, and neither would Saga. Well, okay, here we go then. Pass without <laughs> the trace for two key the... points, folks. Yeah, the only other one person that could possibly had it would would have been Vanya. Wow, Vanya. And why would I have something that useful? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, that's true. That's true. Someone just has to roll for the. My job is to two. be a. My job is to be angry, well, a bear, and punch things. <laughs> seeing how four of the seven succeeded, uh. That majority e rules. Yeah, even e even if the other two roll nat ones, the party would still succeed. Woo! Go team! So. Five. Yeah. Uh, you guys easily pick your way uh, across the rocks, uh, avoiding this blob as it just seems to uh, move around the ground, uh, seemingly like it's on the prowl looking for something, anything to eat. Ew. I'll keep this up for the whole hour. All right. Uh, that's good because it's not long before you guys see another one. Ah. <laughs> oh. well, yeah. I... This this one uh, a few hundred feet away. You uh, you see the uh, shadowy blob of another one. Uh, this time uh, flying overhead. You can see poking out from the blob uh, long black wing. God, it's flying blobs. Sneaky beaky, sneaky beaky. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you would like to stealth pass this one, you can make another round of stealth checks. Oh, wait. Thank God this lasts for what, an hour? Yep. Yeah. Oh, 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 team! Shulk vanishes, never to be seen again. Oh, Nestor! <laughs> Shulk's just gone. <laughs> you know, at least it's consistent. Alright, um... So that's another... So that's three it's people high, yeah. that have definitely succeeded. Let's see if Vanya succeeds as I roll a perception check, because I actually Vanya? have to this time. 25? Uh, 25? Damn. Okay, yes, yes. She succeeded. I, I actually... I had to actually roll this time to see if she succeeded. Oh. Uh, <laughs> where before... Four of you rolled higher than I could possibly roll. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we did it. All right. Yeah, you <clears throat> continue on. Um, and uh, I'll say for the sake of brevity. Oh, look, someone showed up. Um, for the sake of brevity, uh, for the... For the rest of the hour that Pass Without Trace uh, lasts, uh, you guys 
see three more of these shadows and successfully stealth pass them. Dope. Wait, so yes. five in total? Five in total. Jesus. Yeah, nope. Good lord. All right. And uh, as you continue past uh, your pass of trace now ended, um, you can see off in the distance uh, what looks to be the edge of a cliff. Cool. Love cliffs. What's over the edge of the cliff, sir? <laughs> you look over the edge of the cliff, and looking down, you see clouds. Ew. Did they mention anything about having to go down? I thought he just said we just walked. I can't he remember. Said, he said it was not far from there. Do these look like... How long have we been walking? <laughs> Uh, at least two hours. Not far. Actually, I would say, I'd say it's more like three hours. Do they two look... Sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. Do they look like normal clouds? Do they look like they might be poisonous clouds? <laughs> kind of cloudy talk here. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's, it's hard to tell, just kind of looking at them. Um, they do kind of have like a strange yellowish hue to them. Uh, however, you're you're unsure if that if that might just be dust from the surrounding area mixed in with the clouds. How far down is the nearest cloud? Uh, about three hundred feet. That, that's um, that's a we, fall right there. Wait, don't we still have our flying sticks? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm worried about them being like poison or something. No, no, I get that. Wait, is there anything, like, is it just a cliff, or is there, like, land on the other side? Is this, like, a ravine or something? Or, like, I don't know, fucking Grand Canyon? Like, what are we talking about? Uh, you do not see another cliff face across the way. You just see, like, a sea of clouds below you. All right. That stretch on across the horizon. Wait, guess you can fly, right? I can. Do you want to, like, fly down and sort of... Give him a little poke. See if anything happens. Poke the cloud? Well, I mean, like, what if it's poisonous and you, like, poke the cloud and your finger falls off, you know? Which I realize now saying this is not really yeah, a really... That... It's not very convincing reason to go down, so you don't have to if you don't want to. It doesn't quite entice me the way you put it. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It was not... It, yeah, it, I did not do a good job. But again, you don't have to if you don't want to. I can always go on the stick. Is there like a rock or something nearby? There are say, plenty we... of rocks nearby. Can I throw <laughs> a rock into the clouds? Sure. You throw a rock off the cliff and it falls for a bit before hitting the clouds and you just lose sight of it within the clouds. Cloud doesn't do anything it? weird, doesn't smell weird, nothing. Nope, it doesn't do like a shockwave or anything. Do we hear it hit the ground? No. Rip. That's, that's death. Rip rock. Okay, so... Gash, do you want to go? If you don't want to go, I'll go. I don't mind. I mean... I think it might not be a bad idea if we both go. I hand them Watcher and take him with you in case something terrible happens. I guess Watcher will just poof back if ever something really bad happens. Yeah, you, you poof Watcher into existence. He's like, oh, it feels weird. <laughs> what feels weird? <laughs> this place, where are we? Wait, why don't we just ask Watcher to go look and see if they're weird? Is this the same place where we were underwater? Yes, Kinda. we're just in a different Technically. place. There's just no water here. But I yes. don't like There's it. You, and I really should have tried to do something about you underwater. We we need to have a talk later. <laughs> Can you help us out for a minute, and then I'll poof you back to your dimension. Okay. Thank you. Well, well, what's up? 
can you go near those clouds? Don't touch them yet. Just go near them and see if they seem okay. Mm. Like, give them a oh. sniff. Okay, I'll do it for you, Vanya. Thanks, Watcher. <laughs> yes, boy. You you watch Watcher slowly start fluttering down towards the clouds. Uh, his tail between his legs. Oh, <laughs> buddy. I'm gonna be honest. You're gonna need to get that boy a steak one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> he has earned that steak. I know he deserves it. And play with him for a couple hours. I play with him all the time. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you, you see him uh, fly down and kind of sniff the clouds. Um, and then you see <clears throat> you see him kind of like start flying back. Uh, and then you see something. Something reaches shift. out for him. I'm pooping him back. <laughs> <laughs> you see something shift in the clouds, uh, and you see a uh, a black shadowy blob come no! flying out out I of poof the him clouds. Back, I poof him back. All right, you poof him back. Uh, but the the shadowy creature uh, still notices all of you standing on the cliff ah, above, fuck. Uh, and it lets out uh, a loud squealing howl. It's the same thing oh, from God, earlier. I throw a dart at it <laughs> <laughs> it is outside of the range of a dart nah. <clears throat> Fuck. i throw All it right. anyways <laughs> it All just right, had a me... follow on to him <laughs> let me bring you guys over to the map <laughs> <It's> like, ah! <laughs> all right this map is going to look familiar <laughs> At least it's not oh, a grass map. Hold on, hold on. Grass map. It's it's not a grass map. <laughs> <laughs> is it a, is it, is it a rock map? <laughs> oh, is it is it when we fought the dragons outside the Ashari? <laughs> nope, it's Oh the, no, the, it's the, this the, one! The it's map. the it's the one that's in like fucking negative eighty P. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh I god, Mike. Mike, I can't Why? see it. I just have a black screen. Oh, your oh, tokens here. Haven't, yeah. yeah, I haven't haven't given you vision yet. That's what that's probably a problem. <laughs> that's uh, funny. Classic. There you go. Has oh, this sight. one. Yeah. <laughs> you can't really see it though, because you know who knows what it actually is. <laughs> it's a and it's a mystery of all for all time. Yeah, so the uh should we all still be damaged? I don't no, believe we, you guys rested. No, okay. we we didn't we wait wait. No, I think I'm, right. I'm I fairly certain rested. you guys left the uh the coral prison. Oh yeah, we were like, ah, we're fine. Let's yeah, go. We, and then you went back to Grazit's palace, and then you left Grazit's palace. You guys mm -hmm. haven't stopped okay. anywhere to rest. Yeah, I'm still down yeah. a few hit points. So yeah, you uh, might sorry, have taken we like sorry. a short rest. I'm not sure. But you definitely haven't taken a long. Um, right. Yeah. So the uh, the the orange yellow blobs, I guess, <laughs> is the mm -hmm. cliff edge, uh, and then the uh, blue that is usually an ocean in this it's context clouds. is the clouds below. Cool. Do yeah. Roll initiative. Yeah. Let me just bring the uh, the thing out. There you go. That's not very blob-like, sir. <laughs> it's almost like the picture I just linked. <clears throat> well, uh, as it starts flying closer, you notice that the blob of darkness uh, is literally just that, a blob of darkness, and inside is this spindly, black-skinned looking thingy. Ew. I hate that. So, them. now you can roll initiative. I hate I don't see the turn order counter. Weird. Same. It, oh, there it is. Not out yet. Is that I don't trust rolling initiative until I see the turn oh. order box. <laughs> oh, I, that didn't roll at advantage for some reason. I'll need to go back in and fix that. Wow, if My... we're doing so good at stealth, we're, uh... 
We're My pretty low average here. Be ten. There it is. Okay, great. I'm How pretty sure Shilk off? is going first. Yeah, probably. God. I was like, I'm pretty sure it's higher dex than two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a safe bet right there. Did they get rid of the advantage for initiative button? I've um, never had one. I always just clicked on advantage and then clicked on initiative. Well, I know. I just have it, I have it set in mind because I always have advantage on initiative. You, changed. you might want to double check the settings. Yeah, I'm looking at the settings and it's not in there under initiative anymore. Weird. Man, no, I always have to remember. Oh, no, wait, there it, it is. It is for me, yeah. Sorry, I yeah. forgot it was under roll options. I'm yeah. not smart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about as smart as Vanya. <laughs> Uh, Josh, can you roll for Amity, please? Sure. I'll be with you in ten minutes when the character she loads. <laughs> oh god, I was gonna... She showed right. us... We were going through some of her spells earlier, and I was like, how the f*** do you even play? Like... <laughs> okay, so you think that one's bad? Now just imagine her 17th level cleric. <laughs> yeah, good lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> for whatever level we're at. <laughs> They're at... 18. 18. 18. My apologies. <laughs> oh, look at that. Go team. Alrighty. Cool. The Shilk would definitely go before Vathom. Uh, yeah, alright, cool. <clears throat> so, we'll say... Uh, I don't know... I don't think Saga has anything... Uh, hello? <laughs> um, well, that's a funny idea. Oh, God. Well, why not? Um, <laughs> uh, Saga is going to cast a gust of wind down at the thing to keep it away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hopefully it just falls to its death. It just has wind. <laughs> Maybe he forgets how to use them. Yeah, uh, good luck with that. Just modify memory on a flying creature. <laughs> All right. You've forgotten how to fly. What does Amity do? Shoot it and run away. Oh, she's not actually here. I guess I'm playing Amity. Yeah. Uh, yeah, her internet is being problematic. Okay. Well, let me take a quick look for what she's got. <laughs> Have fun. I was not prepared. <laughs> mm, no mm. one expects the horrible internet. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. How far away is it from us? Three. Uh, now it's about uh, be a hundred and forty feet below. Okay. Doesn't really have anything for that kind of a distance, so uh, guess she's gonna hold a sacred flame. Okay. Sounds good. And now it's Shilk's turn. Oh, right. Also me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Shilk has anything for that range either. Nope. <laughs> okay. Um... I don't know something ironic. I forgot I had a hand crossbow. Oh, there you go. How is cool. that ironic? Because I have been playing... I, I've, I have forgotten that it was listed on a sheet. I'm missing the irony. <laughs> um, Shilk is gonna... Shilk is gonna take the dodge action. Okay. Shilk. And move back away from the edge a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Fathom, your turn. Oh, right. Also me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I got nothing for that distance. So, I guess I'm going to use this fucking... Cr I guess I'm going to hold this fucking action with a crossbow in case it comes within range for me to shoot. <sighs> Are you waiting for the long range or for the effective range? The 120 range. <laughs> okay. That's the long range. Cool. Rowan, your turn. Uh, I will not hold a dart because that's pointless. <laughs> <laughs> um, Interesting. <laughs> you know, that sick, sick damage on my darts. Um, well, I have... <laughs> I'm the farthest from having something to do with this range. <laughs> so, I'll just hold a punch in case it gets close enough for me to punch it. That's okay. Holding the punch. <laughs> Holding the punch. Ah, welcome to my world. <laughs> Vanya. What's the, sorry, what's the range again? 140. 140? Gee whiz, guys! That's in my range, and I'd like <laughs> to shoot it. <laughs> yeah, shoot it at the sky. I would like to shoot it with advantage many times. I can't put players try on it, though. It's too far away for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should probably check to see if that hits or not. Wait, does uh, an 18 hit? Uh, 18 just barely hits. Yeah, Ooh. get that extra nice. d8 for the auto crit, right? I believe that's how your weapon works. I think that's how it works. I don't know. And then I'm going to shoot it twice while. more. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I wouldn't know. I didn't make it. <clears throat> All right, cool. We got B20. 38, 52 points of damage. Gonna... <laughs> Back yeah. it up. Spread <laughs> right out a little bit. It squeals some more. Wait for it to come for me. And <laughs> it is hit... three times with arrows. Oh, uh, yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. Okay. Next is Gesh. He's in my range, so I'm going to use this, because why the fuck not? Nice. Alrighty. Ah! <laughs> so bright. I'm just waiting for its reinforcements. <laughs> yeah, just an explosion of sunlight. Uh, I'm assuming directly on it. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> All right, let it's, me just... It's inside an ooze. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. This is like the one fiend that'll carry a mirror. Like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and it failed its uh, save. So it takes 36 points of radiant damage and is blind. Dope. Hope oh, that'll help. That's not a concentration thing, right? It's just a one shot. Um, uh, instantaneous. Yes, inst yep. instantaneous. You're fine. Okay, good. I'm backing the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Noise. Do you have to maintain sight on a spell you're concentrating on? No. Okay. No. You just have to... Just curious. First, once you've cast it, you are good. Yeah. Only Witch Bolt. Yeah, it's only hey Witch Bolt. And I wasn't sure if it was like Sunbeam to have a consistent beam or anything, so... All good. Alrighty. And that's... Uh, okay. Yeah. It's turn. Uh, it's suddenly blinded. Mm -hmm. 
confused AF. And it just kind of, because it's, as as uh, Tori says, confused AF, <laughs> uh, just starts kind of flying around in random directions uh, before kind of like starting to fly down back towards the clouds. Aw, come hmm. back. Let me punch you. <laughs> Let me punch oh, he you. will as soon as he gets his friends. <laughs> and then, you think, guys? The turn, it gets it's another gonna... save. This thing's like, guys, somebody blinded me. Need some help. All right, it is still blind. <clears throat> Sega is just gonna keep on. <laughs> Uh, saga? <laughs> saga, whatever. Uh, saga is going to keep uh, concentrating on that gust of wind just in case he starts flying up again. Uh, and is going to ready a punch, just like Rowan. Amity. Gonna keep that uh, sacred flame prepared. Sounds good. Shilk. Gonna keep taking the dodge action. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Just gonna keep holding the crossbow. Sounds good. <laughs> Rowan. Holding my punch. Sounds good. Vanya. <laughs> hold the arrow. <laughs> okay. Hold. Wait, hold. He's under, he's under the, he went under the clouds, right? Uh, he didn't go under the clouds. He just descended. So now he is uh, 200 feet away from me. I guess I'll take a couple shots. Why not? All right. I've got like 500 and like 400 arrows still. So what did yep. my character sheet do? <laughs> um, oh no. Um. 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 Are you, um, are you good? <laughs> what, what happened? I. I'll. I. I'm shooting it. <laughs> okay. Uh, those should, those shouldn't have been advantage. I yeah, can't they, find the advantage button. <laughs> yeah, it should be uh, straight rolls, uh, because yeah. it's blind and outside of your normal range. I cannot currently get to the unadvantage buttons. The first one would have been the, the 25 because it's 12. Yep. And, and the second one... Yeah, look at that. Cool. It worked out anyway. 12 plus 22, 34. I might have to restart real quick. <laughs> you struggling. Okay. Gesh, your turn. Uh, I'm gonna hold a firebolt. Alright. Alright. Now it descends below the cloud la layer. And we'll attempt again. Against the the blind effect. Hey, there's a nat twenty. Cool. Uh, okay, get that to save. Yes, <laughs> a natural twenty is higher than eighteen. I mean, you know, unless you could have negative saves. All right. Um, and as it does not come back uh, above the clouds, we are out of combat. Okay. <clears throat> Um, okay. Yeah. So, if I look to, like, the left or to the right, does it appear like the land maybe converges onto the other side at any point? Like a bridge oh. or something? You see nothing. I really don't want to go down there. Huh. I yeah. also Could really probably not be want to go down idea. there. Look, mm -hmm. where do we go? Do we just go left or right and keep walking, or what do we do? I mean, we do have sky sails, and we seem to have... Right, it's up to y'all. How would you prefer to travel the abyss? You have sky sails? Yeah, the Ashari gave them to us. Oh, Whip out a sky sail. 
Yeah, it just looks like a staff to you. Kind of strange. Yeah, it just looks like a stick. Can you take a couple minutes? Flying to set up? stick. Can you take a couple minutes to set up? So we could do that. Why did he say this was just not that far? I feel like Groth had lied. To be fair, he said it's not that far. He never said it wasn't difficult. I mean, we could try to fly over it and see what's on the other side. Yeah, I'd like to avoid the clouds, possibly, as long as possible. So, should we do that? Did you say we could see the other side, or is there another side? You do no, not see another cannot. side. You oh, see no. a, a sea of clouds, as far as the eye can see. How far is as far as the eye can see in D&D? <laughs> well, um, it's, a, it's, it's an interesting question. <laughs> because... Someone at an elevated position can see a good, like, six or seven miles uh, out um, before it, the land dis disappears across the horizon. Mm -hmm. However, the abyss is not round. The abyss mm. is a flat plane. <laughs> ah. So Wonderful. you can actually see even farther. And there ain't shit. You all yes. Flat hellers. <laughs> flat hellers. The flat abyssers coming in. <laughs> God. All right. So okay. So maybe flying out is kind of not the plan. Mm -hmm. Have to go down. We could just do like a super fast straight dive, so that anything that, like you know, nothing's can, like, attack us if we just go mm -hmm, straight down. Uh... Yeah, that is an option. So I, I, I don't know, does anyone have a better idea? Because that's all I can think of. I, I don't really know what to do here. I don't like hell. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I don't like hell. No, I get to, who does, really? I mean, t technically not hell. Fair. This is the abyss. It's close enough. <laughs> don't like the abyss. <laughs> Start setting up the sky sail. Yeah, I think it's our best choice. Alright. All right. Who's currently attuned to which one? I have I mine, got... which I'm attuned to. I got one listed on my sheet. I think, uh, sh was it Shilk was the other one? Or was it Oh, it was Dasani. It was, it was Dasani. Dasani. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We remember but then we had but somebody else, but somebody else then did. Wasn't it yeah, Shilk? Yeah, it was Shilk, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, I was like, wait a minute, we, we, we had was this just, we during, before. During the fight with the dragons, it was Dasani, <laughs> but Shilk yeah. also trained on it, he just didn't get the same level of training as you guys did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck, I don't, I didn't write down which one I did. Uh, uh, I think I did evasive maneuvers. I, I think you did. I'm pretty sure you did evasive maneuvers. Yeah, I'm you pretty sure. Oh, yeah. I really need to write it down. Because I remember I practiced twice, but I don't remember what the evasive maneuvers did. Ah! It basically lets you um, use evasion. Uh, oh, uh, right. With, well, with your with the sky sail, so that anybody riding on the sky sail yeah, also, also automatically mm -hmm. avoids yeah. it. Remember, uh, I'm gonna Sony write that down right now. Once we could ram him with his. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I also have offensive flying. But it doesn't do me any good now. <laughs> Fine, you have wings. You can be an offensive flyer. <laughs> anyway. True. I 
could fly us all down one at a time, but that would take forever and be very mm -hmm. dangerous. Um, how long does your flying last, anyways? You just pull out your wings and can fly it like however long you want, or? Uh, I mean, it doesn't say anything about how long it lasts. <laughs> this is all the information I have on it. It can last forever. Dope. Okay. And I was I gonna say because we use technically it as often have. As I like. I was gonna yeah. say because we technically don't oh, have enough sky sails as we do people. So. Yeah. yeah. You literally just grew wings. <laughs> yes. That's OP, huh. and I love it. <laughs> okay. So. Gash, we don't have enough room. So are you okay to fly? That is fine. Okay, this worked out really well. Good job. <laughs> I may not be able to go as fast as you, though. Just keep that in mind. That's that's fine. We can yeah. pace ourselves. You could technically just not fly and like have yourself drop like a rock and then start flying when you need to. Yes, but if I can't see through the clouds, it would be very hard to see if the ground was coming up if it's quick and Well, thick. like one of us will will be first, and then we can yell back to you and let you know when to pull up. <laughs> That's if I could even hear. Do you want to take Watcher Smart. with you, and I can tell you? I can talk through him. It's gonna be like That's... a roller coaster for Watcher. Yes. <laughs> if he is willing, that sounds fine. Okay, I'll poof Watcher back out. <laughs> I ask so much of this good boy. He was really just do. like, I don't want to be back here. Someone <laughs> trying to attack me out of that cloud. Fuck this what? place. No, he didn't even see it. What he didn't. I poofed him right out. Oh, <laughs> that's right. You saw it. He did. <laughs> yep. What happened? Um, so I saw something moving in the clouds, but it's fine now. Um, but we have to go through them. And our friend Gesh... Has, we'll have a hard time seeing through them, but if I can talk to Gesh through you, you go with him, then he can get down safely. Because otherwise we don't have enough room to transport everyone at once. And the thing in the clouds is gone? Yeah. Honestly, I, I don't know, buddy. But Gesh will keep you safe, right? She glares. <laughs> I will try my best. Okay. If, if this if if something goes wrong, I will send you away. I'll poof you back to your okay? dimension and leave Gesh to fend for himself. Vanya <laughs> right. would die for this wolf, and we all know it. This yeah, that's why there. Sounds about right. <laughs> all right. So watchers with Gesh. I'll take Amity. And then, uh, I guess, I don't know, Vanya, who were, were you with Vath? Or, wait, who no, <laughs> I went with, um, no, I flew with, I flew with, I flew with face. No, uh, I flew with, I flew oh, with Oh, wait, no, that's right, you flew with the elf, that's right. <laughs> I flew with, uh, um, I'm going, Arden. I wrote, Arden, I, Arden. I, I, his name is right there, okay, I just need to find it on the page. <laughs> Art man. <laughs> right okay. there. <laughs> All right. Well, do you want? You can go. You take your. You're either with uh, with with Shilk or with um, Batham. I'll take my chances with Shulk, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully, we're not attacked down there and things get crazy. <laughs> oh God! Potted plant flying a stick. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that means uh, Saga is with Batham. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Alrighty. I'll uh. Just pair you guys up here. I was gonna say you should just like magnetically attach <laughs> <laughs> the people to their flyer <laughs> so that their token moves with them if needed. If I could do that. Ah, uh, if only that were a thing. <laughs> Man, roll twenty. Get on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, you guys get on your various, uh, your various sky sails and 
other means of aerial travel. Um, and step off of the edge of the cliff and slowly start descending. I was gonna say before we before we full dive, I'd like to like touch a cloud and make sure it's not like poisonous gas or something. Well, well here's here's the question: Are you guys using the fly or are you using the levitate? Because the fly you can only use once a day. The levitate you could use at will. If we're already levitating, can we transition I, into fly? I would say levitate for now, and then use fly as needed. Well, that's the that's that's the question. If we're levitating already, can we transition into fly without having to land? Yes. Okay, then yeah, we'll levitate. Yeah, Cause, levitate. Cause basically, basically, how it how it works is, uh, it's it's giving you the ability of casting either yeah. the levitate or the fly spell. If you were to cast the fly spell while you are concentrating on levitate, you would lose the levitate anyway. Okay, I just wanted to double check before we got hit with like some fine print shenanigans here. <laughs> no, no, no. The only like, the only we didn't read the instructions and then the, we're dead. the only fine print is that it takes a minute to set up the 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 sky cell, so you can't really set it up in combat, mm -hmm. right, which we have done. So yeah, we'll right. start with levitation then. All right, cool. We'll just go straight down the cliff face. <laughs> so in fact, Gesh is faster than you guys are. <laughs> ah, now. there you go. Um, all right. He goes slow to keep up with them for now. <laughs> so we just dragged Watcher out here for no reason, poor guy. Well, we may need the speed, so. This is fair. <laughs> give give so, it time. We haven't reached the clouds yet. Um. So you start descending down towards the clouds, and then what did you say you were going to do? I want to touch them and make sure they're not, like, poisonous or, like, fucking flaming vapors or something <laughs> or like acid clouds <laughs> all right you you go to uh one of the thicker areas of cloud coverage and you stick your hand in so that your hand disappears within the clouds and then you pull your hand out and it's a stump you don't feel <laughs> poisoned He's just gone. Oh, I don't feel poisoned. Comforting. Good. Give me a right. You're a monk. That's true. She's not the one that's that's true. this. That's <laughs> <It's> very true. <laughs> we are so good at this, guys. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wait, somebody else check just in case. <laughs> Gesh will check. Okay. Gesh. Gesh, you light on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and <then. laughs> Go ahead and make me- no, just kidding. Oh <laughs> god, that would have been so awkward. Imagine if we had actually fucked that up. Oh my god. Like, I like, removed his flight yeah, and felt it was Gash, death. You also don't notice any poison effects of the cloud. Okay. Feels like a regular cloud. Okay, well. Uh, yeah. Then we uh, you, slowly you, go. You do notice there's no moisture to the cloud. Mm. Yeah. Icky. Yeah. Icky. All right. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna go straight down. <clears throat> that way yeah, nothing you... can attack us from behind, because it's a cliff. Okay. So if to go, we don't run into, like, a jeepering mouth or something. I was gonna say, unless the cliff attacks us. The cliff is a mimic! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the abyss is a mimic! <laughs> no, um, yeah, you guys descend with your... Backs to the wall. Slowly. Slowly. Into <laughs> the clouds. Everybody becomes blinded as you enter the clouds. Oh, great. Um, I switched up that funny sail again. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I, I, would, I, I, I would like everybody to make a con save. There it is. Thank God I have Saga behind me. I'm assuming everybody is close enough to gain the benefit. Yeah, we're not like saga. very far. Oh. oh, good. So the first one was for me, and then the second one's for Watcher. <laughs> Look at my boy go. <laughs> oh man. Thirty-one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh man. I'm never rolling that high ever again. 
Wow. Doggo rolled shit. Did not. So did Rowan. <laughs> yeah, but, uh. Wait, where is Rowan? I'm up there at a 9. Oh, you're the, you're the 10, 10. Sorry. Yeah. Well, like, you guys gained the benefits of, uh, her aura. The right. 8 is after the aura. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oof. Yeah, the yep. 31 is after the aura. Um, so yeah. Uh, everybody but Saga is fine. Uh, Saga... <laughs> uh, is... Uh, blinded. From oh, the clouds. No. And then a couple hundred feet of, uh... Flying through the clouds, uh, you guys descend below the clouds, uh, and it's like you just entered nighttime. Ew. Like, as, yay, but weird. <laughs> as, uh, <laughs> the surrounding area is uh, complete darkness. Yay. Rella gets benefits. <laughs> Okay. Um just Sorry, I was I was going. distracted by a message. Um you do see far off in the distance what looks like lights. Oh great. Yeah, it kinda looks like uh <clears throat> like spotlights shooting up into the air, uh, hitting the the bottom layer of the clouds. I guess go towards the lights? Yeah. Spotlights? Sounds... Circus? Sure. <laughs> Circus like of three death? days sure. away from this place. Isn't that what he said? Day and a half? Day and a half? Something like that. I might, have, ret I'm, I might have retconned some things. Ah, okay. Oh, I, I, oh I wanna, no. I don't want to do No, I planned for three days of travel. Shit. <laughs> Damn it, Mike. Why, why would you need three days of travel? We have practicing to do. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you think I can throw together a Cirque du Soleil performance with one day of travel? And no time to practice? It's all right. Who do you think we are? Calm down. We're, we're at least gonna rest one night before we go in. Because I'm sure oh everybody would mind being topped off. Tori's inner drama teacher's <laughs> eating out. Wow. God damn it. Oh, Lordy. Anyways, moving on to the floating lights. Three days ahead of schedule. <laughs> so salty. <laughs> See if we plan anything ever again in advance. I know, right? Fuck me for like the last three weeks. I mean, I can drag you. this out into three days of travel. No, it's really no, not. We're already here. It's fine. It's fine, Mike. It's fine. No, I mean, like, it, like no, we can. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. It, we're already it, here. It, let's, let's, let's go. Well, hold on, because <laughs> it does look like uh, Taylor and Tori won't be coming tonight. Uh, and uh, I just got messages. Uh, like, like Taylor. Uh, is having internet problems, and uh, a personal emergency came up for Tori. So, oh. Cobra, all right. okay. Uh, unsure at the moment. Oh shit. Uh -huh. Yeah. <clears throat> so, if you would like, we can drag this out so that everybody is here for the performance. That works. Uh, yeah. I want so, everyone here for the performance. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, so I'm not doing the characters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, uh. <laughs> we'll re retcon it. You do not see <laughs> lights off in the distance. <laughs> it's just uh... ground all of a sudden. Anybody else see that flash of light? <laughs> <laughs> no, Must what be are you talking about? Yeah. Is there a storm? <laughs> you're just like daytime and then like darkness. It was probably just your eyes not quite adjusting properly. Mm hmm. I should probably open them. Mm, that shit. helps. 
Shulk, you're flying! Yeah, open your eyes! <laughs> We're on the ground. Are we? Are you? We're not on the ground! We're on the ground Shulk, yet. Shulk, we are not on the ground! Where do you think Guess we are? is still flying. Oh. <laughs> I, I should have looked down. Yeah, Shulk, yeah! This is going great. Yep. <laughs> Alright. So. <laughs> Lord, um, we're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me just check the week. Great. <laughs> so, uh, they're like, I gotta pull out all these pages that I hadn't <laughs> needed to use. So, uh, you continu uh, continue descending down. Um, and then you hear the sounds of, uh, rocks, uh, tumbling down the side of the cliff behind you. Oh, great. Uh, uh, I think we uh, can follow. We go faster? Can we go, can we levitate any well, faster <laughs> down? Do you look to see what the sound came from? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's okay. Even no, we just, we like just let the really creepy, spooky thing behind us remain there, completely <laughs> invisible to our knowledge. I don't okay. want to know what it is. I lied. Yes, I want to know what it is. <laughs> oh my god. I'm getting mixed signals here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> um, you guys kind of look behind you, and those with uh, dark vision, which I think is most of you. Uh, exactly. I think, I, I think, yeah, pretty much just Vatham doesn't have it. Yeah. Um, Saga has it now, but she's blind. <laughs> Right. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? That doesn't make sense. She wouldn't have gotten dust in her eyes if she had goggles on. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> she's fine. <laughs> <clears throat> so never mind. She's not blind. Um. Yeah. So, uh, you guys look to see what that sound was, and you see, uh, that in the side of the cliff, uh, are several, uh, dark caves. And crawling out of the dark caves, you see, uh, the, um, <laughs> you, you see the forms of, uh, five more of those, uh, shadowy, uh, covered creatures. Okay, when I asked for extra travel days, I didn't ask for extra combat, Mike! <laughs> She's gonna make it interesting somehow. God damn it! Five pairs of beady yellow eyes <laughs> stare at all of you. Oh no. <laughs> we to move now. Alright. I would fly. like everybody to roll initiative once again. We fly. We fly down and we fly yeah. fast. I'm just like, wait, what, 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 what was that sound? <laughs> Ground, please. <laughs> oh god. Oh, this is better. Oh, yes! All the pilots are faster than the losers! We're currently wow. levitating. Ah, <laughs> oh, then gash. No, Joe! So close. So I'm considered a loser, then. <laughs> no, the other losers, meaning the, the dark yellow beady eye boys. Oh. The, yeah, the, the beady, beady eye boys. Yeah, Besides, the you're not a pilot, doctor. you're just you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the beady eye doctors. Technically, I'm the pilot. I'm flying. <laughs> you're, you're your own pilot. I'm my own plane. <laughs> Can't forget socket. Okay. So. Shilk is first. Mm-hmm. Are we running? Fly, you fools! I think we're running, yes. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> and I guess I just fly away. Alright. Are you casting fly? Yeah, probably a good time to do that. Okay. <laughs> So you cast fly and move 60 feet away. Um, 
Are you using your bonus action to double dash? Sure. All right, so you fly 120 feet away. Should probably put more of these guys on the map to show that there are five. <laughs> no, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I I would assume you guys would want to be accurate. Yeah, yeah preferably. There we go. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so, Shilk and Vanya are just gown. Meow. Meow. Amity's turn. Riding on the back of Rowan's. That's you, Josh. <laughs> yep, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, uh, let's see. Yeah, they're kind of grouped up. Let's, uh... Fireball. Yeah, but fireball's a good idea. Alrighty. Fireball. Just a fireball straight into the cave entrance. Alright, they succeed. So they take the uh, half damage of 17. Halved again to 9, because demons... Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's fair. Second, T subtracting health values. I love area effect stuff. Mm hmm. Alrighty. That's Amy's turn. Rowan, your turn. Um, I too will cast LaFly. LaFly? LaFly, yeah. Is that the French version of <laughs> McFly? <laughs> you know, guys, it's been really fun, but like, I to go to bed. No. <laughs> you... You wanted to extend it out to three days of travel. <laughs> yep, this is all you. I had to put up with the puns. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, so I cast fly, and then I will um, also fly away. Okay. So um, flying 60 feet. And then... I'm only going to fly 60, though. I'm not going to fly the... F uh, I'm not going to uh, dash. I don't want to leave everyone in the dusties. Okay. <clears throat> what is this? Bring the others down here to show that they are farther away. Oh, come on. Oh, no, <laughs> God. Watcher, why'd you get so big? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to yes. move him. That's yeah, just closer to the camera accidentally. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Watcher's big boy now. <clears throat> All right. So we got 120 and 60, and then the people that are right up next. <clears throat> okay. Vatham, your turn. Alright. It's gonna start to fly and go. Okay. <clears throat> also moving not. 60 feet. Yeah. Because you can't do otherwise. Yeah, and I'm also currently blind AF. Yeah. So you so you guys watch Vatham just kind of like 
flying off in your general direction. He's kind of like, kind of drifting off towards the side a little bit. And then, and then, uh, Sokka is just like, no, over that way. <laughs> <laughs> Having to like correct him. So he's now he's kind of he's kind of like underneath uh, Amity and Rowan. Mm -hmm. All right, Vanya, your turn. Uh, I am going to panic <laughs> and poof Watcher away from my action because that's what I promised him I would do. Okay, Watcher is gone. Uh, and that's it. Okay. That takes my action. Mm -hmm. All right. And now for the part where Gesh just gets swarmed by these things because everybody else ran away before he could. Uh huh. I didn't go that far. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm only 60 feet away. I can fly back in. <laughs> This is where I right. use, use my third character in this campaign. No. <laughs> uh, so yeah. three of them are going to swarm Gesh. One of them, Gesh, you re you notice that uh, it's weirdly because it, it has like this thick like like black skin. It does have like a weird sunburn on it. <laughs> oh joy. Oh. The one you uh, smoked. And then the other two are go going to each go after one of the people that are 60 feet away, using their full fly speed to catch up to you guys. Cool. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. So, uh... Gesh, I need you to make two charisma saves. <laughs> Yikes. Alright, oh. you succeed both. Yay! Alright, um... I believe this nothing happens on this if you succeed. Yeah, it looks like it. Cool! Uh, so you, you, oh, actually, sorry, you do need to make a third one. I forgot there were three of them attacking. Woo! All right, you're good. As they all just seem to, yeah, they all seem to just stare into your soul with their beady yellow eyes. Uh, and as you are unaffected by that, they each will make, uh, two attacks against you. For Jokes on them, I have no soul. <laughs> 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 ooh, ooh, that's a crit on that one. Okay, uh, what's your AC, Gesh? Uh, seventeen. Okay. So then, all six attacks will hit. Of Yikes. course they will. Okay, so <clears throat> all of those, including the crit, hold on, the crit damage, I need to add. That is more damage than you have hit points. Of course. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh. as you you guys watch as uh, guests just get swarmed by three of these creatures, uh, and uh, st he goes unconscious, being plummeted, plummeting down. Um, two, uh, one of the creatures just seems to squeal at the other two. Uh, they squeal back before reluctantly starting to fly towards the rest of you. Oh no. Uh, 
All right. And then the the two that are that flew up next to you guys. Um, I need Rowan and Vatham to both make uh, charisma saving throws. Thank you, Saga, for being behind me. Is this just yep. for damage? This isn't for anything charmy related. Ah, uh, no, this is not a charming. Okay. Okay. Actually, this one specifically, that is what Gash, the sunburnt one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, is that 14 with Saga's bonus? Yep. Not All for right. me. Then you both fail. Uh, you're too far away from them, Rowan, because they're uh... underneath you. Does it help that I can't see him? <laughs> 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 he can't look into uh, his eyes if he can't see his eyes. <laughs> well, specifically. <laughs> oh, you know what? It does say if the target can see the number. Ah, so, yeah. so it's it's literally just Rowan. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that's weird. And all right, I'll just take the average then. Um, for, Rowan, for once, for once being blind for worked once, in my yeah. sense. <laughs> uh, Rowan, um, you. Uh, as as the Navasu uh, stares into your soul, uh, you uh, it's almost as if your soul is being pulled out from it, uh, and your hit point maximum is reduced by thirteen, along with whatever your hit points are, uh, if it was it, if if they're still at full. I don't know. Like if if your hit point maximum goes below your current hit points, your current hit points drop as well to match your hit point maximum. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I lose 13, so instead of 127, I'm at 114. Right. And do I maybe... what about the 12 bonus or like um the 12 extra HP I have? Well, from what's my the 12 wraps? That... Oh, those are temporary hit points. That yeah, is the, the 12 temp. So that's do those that's go unaffected on? by this. Um... So I have 114 plus 12, so I technically have like Right. Okay, so when I take yeah. damage, I that's when I right because you're not taking damage; it's just your max hit points is being lowered. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Just checking. Yeah. Still wasn't sure if that applied somehow. <laughs> All right. Um. Cool. Okay, so I have 114. And then okay. each of them is going to attack. Uh, each of you twice. So first against Rowan. Oh, that's another crit. So, Mike, we uh, about this. Stop <laughs> critting. Well, I, I, it has been weeks. I've, I need to crit because it has been weeks. Um, so you're able to dodge the claw uh, attack, uh, Rowan. Uh, however, um, you don't see its. Uh, Jaws coming towards you until it takes a big bite out of your shoulder ah, for great. 58 points of damage. Ah! Owie! Rude. <clears throat> Alrighty. Uh, and then against Batha. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? These, these should be at advantage because you're blind. Yep. I got a yeah. bad got a bad feeling about this. I really um, do. Um Alright. They both hit, so you take thirty seven points of piercing and slashing damage. Ouch. From both the claw and the bite. Alright. <laughs> Cool. And that's their turn. Gesh, death saving throw, please. <sighs> Come on. Ooh. One success. <laughs> Go in the line. That is one success. Doesn't mean I'm still not falling. 
Well, you're I currently mean... grappled by the creature, so. Oh! You not, you're not falling, but you are in the creature's clutch. Oh, yeah, so I'm doomed. Which one? <laughs> the sunburnt one. That's right next to him, right here. I don't see one. Do you mean this one? That's, yes. Oh, okay. Someone's pinging here, but there's nothing there. I see this one over here. I see confusion. Thank you. Wait, what? There's one here for you? Yeah, there's one, one right, right here. here. It's, it's, right, it's right here, right next to Gesh. <laughs> No, yeah. mine's right looking over at. here. Refresh, oh, that's a little, <laughs> that's a little weird. Yeah, I might want to re refresh. Yeah, I might want to refresh that. Yep. I'm like, what do you mean? There's one right there. <laughs> All right. Kind of level twenty. Uh, from the back oh, of go. uh Saga's broom. Uh, I'm not from the back of Vathom. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, Saga yep. is going to attack twice with her short sword. She's going to hit both times, and she's going to throw some smites onto them, because why not? Yeah, that's a good idea. And because it looks like we're all ready into Dire Straits, let's throw them level 3. <laughs> nice, nice. Alright, so that's 22 plus 22, 44 plus 8, 52. Plus eleven sixty three. Can I just say fuck these things? <laughs> fuck these uh, guys. And then she's going shit. to try a stunning strike as well. That's a good idea. And it failed. This one next to Vatham is stunned. Why did Vatham suddenly move? He should be right here. <clears throat> Weird. Yeah. You just weirdly, I I come out of Saga's sheet and you're right here for some reason. Yeah, I didn't move anything. Weird. All right. Uh, and if yeah. he's stunned, does that mean he's falling? No. That would be if he's not prone, which is different. Mm. I Although I think, can she not prone people? Let's see. I don't remember which one she is. Oh yeah, She's maybe. open hand. Open yeah. hand. Try to remember. What would that be? Oh, open hand technique. Um, trip open hand. Hey, dexterity check or be knocked prone. Let's do that. All right, it fails. Yeah, whenever you do flurry of blows. Right, which she would do. So I guess, I guess, I guess I'll roll for flurry as well, because I was thinking about doing flurry as well. Uh, and advantage, because it's done. Mm-hmm. Cool. She hits on one of them. She will do the, the, th the thing that makes the guy go prone, which he, which he fails. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> So, uh, you guys don't know how far down you have to go still, uh, but I'll give you a hint. Uh, the, the guy, as he falls, uh, he hits the ground and takes 20 d6 damage. Uh, I think it caps out at 20 d6, right? Yep. That's death. Maybe. For some of us, that would be death. Unless you're really lucky and it rolls on that once. Yeah. Which will happen. <laughs> Alright, yeah. uh, he takes 74 points of damage. <gasps> and you don't know if he's still alive or not. Yeah, because... 20 d 6, that's like a hundred... Quick math, 120. If you roll off sixes. <laughs> yeah, max. 
So between 60 and 120 on average. So Vanya, don't right. fall. <laughs> Alright, Shilk, your turn. Okay. Alright. I will fly back to help the party because they're getting mm -hmm. fucked. Mm -hmm. Um, Can I make it to the one holding Gesh without flying by any of the others? Oh yeah. Yeah, you, you can do some evasive maneuvers to not get close enough to the others that you can fly up to the other one. It will take your bonus action to dash though. Yep, that's what I figured. So I will do that. All right, you do so. You fly right up to him. Cool. And then, just for the fun of it, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna give myself advantage and uh, attack this thing with the booming blade. Okay. <laughs> booming blade. All right, yeah, that definitely hits for 13 points of damage, plus another 21. And that uh, that took my turn to do all that, yep. so we're good. Cool. Amity's turn. Uh, is the one on the map next to Amity actually next to Amity? Well, it's next to both Rowan and Amity, so yes. Okay. Well, Amity... It's, it would be a little closer to Rowan, so more like this, but yes. Okay. Well, Amity's just gonna do this. <laughs> That's a good thing. Alright. Uh, it's 60 feet or 30 feet? 60. 30 foot radius, so it should hit oh. everybody. Oh, yeah, you can put it in the center. So, yes. Uh, <clears throat> so, up to six people. Who's not getting hit? Shilk, because he's at full. Okay, cool. Then everybody except for Shilk take, uh, heals 17 hit points. Uh, so, guess you are conscious once again. However, now mm -hmm. you are staring into the face of the creature. Being, being cr cr cradled by this creature. Yep, in his basically. big, meaty claws. <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> All right, is uh is that it for Amity? Uh yeah, I don't think she's got any bonus action stuff. Okay. Yeah, not that I can see. Sounds so, good. Yeah. Rowan, your turn. Just because it's been so long, I can't remember. Can I attack while flying this thing? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. I punch the one in front of me. Many times. Sure. Go for it. Hello? Hello, sheet? Sheet? Okay, there we go. Oh god, nope, roll 20. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh god. Okay, there we go. Fixed it. Oh, what? Alrighty. <laughs> yep, going for the stun. Oh, come on. Open the sheet, there we go. Roll 20. Alright, it is stunned. Mm hmm. Dope. Three more. <laughs> Let me just knock off the key point before I forget for Flurry of Blues. Ah, yes. For Flurry of Blues. One, two, <laughs> three. Nine, nine, thirteen. Thirty-one, forty-five. Put... Oh, yeah, and then just... And uh... sneak it back. Yep. Yoink. Five. Nice even fifty. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> Alrighty. Um, and then I'm just gonna I'm a move. He's stunned, so he can't do anything. Yeah, cool. Yeah. We're just gonna zip like over here. 
here. Okay. Uh, I'm using this more of just like as a range. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Uh, cool. So, I move. Yeah. Mm. So like these two then are just like in between us and them? Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, I have plenty of movement, so I'm just going to move back. Actually, I don't need to. This thing is stunned. Whatever. <laughs> so you don't move? I'm dumb. I don't okay. move. I forgot. It's All right. done. I don't care. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. Cool. Uh, Vatham, your turn. Uh, the one that's on the sheet is actually the one that fell below. So okay. I'll just put him over here for now. Okay. To show that he is not near you. <laughs> All right. We're bonus actioning bear. Sure. I got a, I got a specific order on doing this in. Then okay. I'm reach into the bag of tricks. I'm gonna throw something past the two that are off in the distance towards us. All while piloting the uh, sky set. <laughs> okay, where are you throwing the bag? Uh, the, the the thing from the bag? Sort of just like I'm gonna put like in like a direction past these two. Sort of like draw their attention toward that thing that I'm throwing. Don't you have I'm to just... uh, put the bag of tricks uh, onto like something? Um, like solid. Let's see. I'm gonna double check this real quick. <laughs> uh, it just says up to 20 feet. So. Okay. Um, so up to 20 feet, this thing's gonna appear. Okay. So yeah, that's about uh, halfway between you and uh, mm -hmm. these two right here. All right. Roll a d8. See what the fuck we get. Sure. Fucking weasel just falls to the <laughs> falls to its death. Uh. <laughs> nope. Giant rat. A giant rat falls to its death. All right, cool. <laughs> and then 60 feet forward. Okay. <laughs> just, just sort of like get to the thing that's on Rowan and them. Oh, the thing that's on Rowan? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you guys just basically fly up. Yeah. Give Saga right. something to punch because I can't see what the fuck I to punch. Didn't that one fall too? No, he's just stunned. Wow. The reason the other one fell is because Saga knocked it prone, which gets rid of its fly speed as well. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. <clears throat> Alright. So that is Vatham's turn. Uh, mm -hmm. Which brings us to... Banya. Um, Am I able to reach Gesh from where we are? Uh, yeah, you guys are all kind of, uh, like, within five feet of each other in a nice ten-foot square. <laughs> I, could reach, I could reach out and tap him yeah, if I it, needed it, to. It, yeah, it, it, it looks a bit more like this, to be honest. Oh, yeah, uh, we're all very scrunched up together. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's a bit more like this. There you go. <laughs> um, I will cast a fourth-level Cure Wounds on okay. Gesh. Sure. That's what my Warlock spells are now. Alright. Guess you heal for another 18 hit points. Alright. And then, just for the hell of it, for my bonus action, I'll put my Slayer's Prey on this one. Okay. Maybe I'll get to shoot it. Or Sounds smack good. it. Sure. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, on their turn... Um... This one is going to uh, fly up to back up his friend. Mm -hmm. And actually, this one will come with because that's that's a lot of people over there. Mm -hmm. Where fuck that guy? He stole their he he stole the fresh food from us. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one down on the ground, who technically is not dead, uh, is hurt enough that he's just gonna fuck off. But he's stunned. <laughs> well, he'll fuck off on his back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I yeah, want to hunt him works. down and kill his family. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the one uh, that's holding Gesh um, is uh, looks at you angrily, Shilk, uh, and I need you to make a charisma saving throw. Good. Fuck him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
Jesus. All right, you're fine. All right. I just stare intently back. <laughs> Um, and seeing it not working, he's just going to attack you twice. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> one with his other claw, and one with his bite. The bite will hit. Uncanny dodge. Alright, the 29 damage is halved to 15. Alright. <clears throat> Um, and then these other two up here, uh, one of them is going to, uh, attack Saga, and one of them is going to attack Rowan. Uh, I need both of you to make charisma saving throws. Uh, Rowan, you now get the bonus from Saga's, uh, aura. Yeah. All right, both succeed, and then each of you are getting two attacks against. Boo. <laughs> First against Rowan, uh, you dodge the claw, but get hit by the bite, so you take 32 points of piercing damage. <laughs> Why? Uh, and Saga gets hit by both, taking a total of... Uh, 53 points of piercing and slashing. <clears throat> Alrighty. Uh, that's their turn. Gash, it is your turn. You are in the clutches of this creature. Can I try and make my way out of his clutches? Sure, you can choose either acrobatics or athletics. I will roll athletics. I'll roll acrobatics. Okay, I rolled a 19. So you use your action to break away from the creature and are able to fly away. Good. Where would you like to fly? I mean, if I do fly away, would I take an attack of a opportunity? Technically, yes. <laughs> yeah, this is just okay. leaving his grasp. You don't actually leave his reach. And that's so, my action, right? Yeah, so you still have a bonus action. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I'm just going to take the dodge action. That's... Uh, I don't believe you can do that as oh. a bonus action. Well, yeah, that's a monk-specific thing. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um, well, shit, there's really nothing I can do. Do you have any, uh, spells you could cast? Uh, did you take the Quicken spell ability? You know, I forgot completely about them in the Sorcerer. <laughs> yeah, Quicken spell, it's really nice. Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I will, uh, quicken a greater invisibility on myself. Hey, there you go. So, yeah, you go invisible. Just put, uh, this little ninja symbol on you. There you go. And then I kind of just don't fly away, I just fly down a little bit. Like, okay, so now you're feet, so under... You can't really see me. So. Okay, well, he, he can still hear you, uh, so he'll, yeah. he still gets the attack of opportunity, it will just be a disadvantage. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's all I can really do. Sounds good. Um, that just barely misses you. So that means it hits? No, it barely misses you. Oh. I, j I, I rolled 16, and your AC is 7. Okay, well. Yeah. Just the, the wording. It barely missed, so that, that technically yeah. would hit. <laughs> no, I, if I say it barely hit, it would hit. 
barely barely means it su you succeeded in like avoiding it, but just at like the bare minimum. It was the bare minimum that it missed Me. you. Okay, I mean I get it. It's just the wording. okay. I I hate the wording. Okay, it's nothing against your wording. <laughs> it's just I just those particular words I hated. No okay. Word. <laughs> well, I, I plan on using them in the future, so just let me that, know that. That's fine. Okay. Saga. She is going to uh, attack some bitches. Um, she will attack each of them once with her short sword. Hit and hit. And she will try to stun both of them. One succeeds, and the other succeeds, so neither of them are stunned. <clears throat> As one takes 13 and one takes 10. Whoa, not 132. That's not one, right? There we go. Uh, and then she'll do some Flurry of Blows as well. Try and knock both of these guys prone as well. Alright, she hits both of them. And they both have to make deck saves. And they both fail. So they both fall in in <laughs> an unspecified number of feet to the ground. Holy shit. <laughs> oh god, that's awesome. Yeah, open hand monk is really good in aerial combat. Mm hmm. That's why when I played an open hand monk for a very short time, he was an Azimar, and I can just fucking knock people prone in the air. It was great. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, they each take 66 points of fall damage. Alright, um, unfortunately, I believe that is, yeah, that's all of her key points, because I, actually she might, no, no, it be, it was stun, slurry, she has one key point left, actually. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, um, yeah, so both of these guys are gone as well, fallen to the ground. Shilk, your turn. All right. Well, I hope you guys are prepared. Uh... Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Even more chaos in this area. Potted combat. plant. Potted plant. Potted as, plant. As a bonus action, I am going to quicken a haste on myself. Oh. Oh, no. oh great. <laughs> Which, unfortunately, does trigger the uh, the random happenings. Twenty-three. 23. Hey, my skin turns a vibrant shade of blue. Well, I was already a pretty green, so now I'm just a blue-green. <laughs> what do they call that? Teal. Yeah. Teal, yeah. <laughs> I'm a teal, and uh, that was my TED Talk. Thanks for coming. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to attack. Uh, okay. Actually, I'm going to give myself advantage. And attack. <laughs> sure. All right. Yeah. Nineteen hits. God, those holes are so roll. Four nineteen. Plus another nine. <laughs> and your haste action. My haste action. Or, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. What's, yeah. What's your I should probably check and see what all I can do with that. Just to be sure. Uh, da -da -da. I know you can't cast a spell. <laughs> Correct. Oh, perfect. Uh, oh, wait. No, disengaging doesn't matter because I can't attack me anyway. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I... You know what? I'm just going to attack it again because that's the easiest thing to do. Yeah. 
I, I would say if you did take the disengage action, it would make it so he couldn't attack Vanya if you left. Oh, I guess I didn't even think that he could, because she didn't have the voluntary movement. Mm -hmm. I, well, I mean, like, she's voluntary, she's not act she's just not doing the moving herself. Okay. Is, there's a difference I between being forced against your will and along for the ride. Fair enough. Uh, in that case, I'll, I'll do that then, just so she doesn't get the attack. Oh, okay, anyway. so you are, you are moving? Okay. Yeah. Because I had so... planned on moving, but... <laughs> gotcha. Cool. Then, yeah, you can move. Yeah, I'll disengage and I will move back 15 feet. And just stare at it. Okay. <laughs> cool. <clears throat> All right. Amity's turn. Uh, there's just the one in front of her and then the one that Shilk just beat up. The one in front of her is still stunned, so can't really do anything. Oh, yep, that's me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm good at this, guys, I promise. Um, Amity is gonna do... Uh... We'll do a Cure Wounds on Rowan. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, Rowan heals for 13. And it is Rowan's turn. I'm muted. This one's still in front of me, right? Yep. <laughs> cool, I smacked it four times. Cool. See if I even need all four, but one and a two and a three. That's a crit. <laughs> yes, it is. Are you putting sneak attack on that yes. crit? <laughs> oh, delicious and uh, delicious. Four. All right. Nice. All four hits for 67 points of damage. How is it still alive? <laughs> Die! <laughs> okay, is that it? Yeah. Okay. Then at the end of your turn, he is no longer stunned. And Vatham, it is your turn. All right. Can I see this motherfucker? Yes, he's right in front of you. Okay. Fuck it, and we're amplifying it. All right. That uh, makes him restrained, is it? Yeah. He has to make a strength save. That is a natural 20. Fuck this motherfucker. <laughs> okay, smacking him twice then. Alrighty. Ugh. Don't think either of those will hit. Nope. 17 and 15 will both miss. Yep. I'll just keep being here. Okay. Vanya, your turn. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot this one. Right in front of me. Yep. <laughs> 18 hits, if I'm remembering right? Uh, yes, it just barely hits. All right, and 31 also hit. So that is 34 points of damage. <clears throat> Anything else? No. All right, their turn. Uh, what was the thunder damage you did? Shil Seven. Seven, nice. 
then it's going to move up to you guys, taking seven points of thunder damage. <laughs> hmm. And I believe Vanya has done more damage, at least in the last round. I, is this not the same one that I shot earlier? Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, so definitely it's me. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, so yeah, it's going to um, look you in the eye, and I need you to make a charisma saving throw. We all know I'm great at those. <laughs> oh, you get a... no! I do! Yeah! I was going to say, don't you get your bonus or whatever? <laughs> I do. I just don't remember what it is. I get an extra d6. It's a 1d8. <laughs> No. Is it a D8 or is it? I think it's a D6. I it's D6 yeah. I'm pretty. Oh wait, no. That's, that's I'm thinking the wrong thing. Yes, D6. Hey. Nice. <laughs> nice. 19 is enough to succeed. So you are fine from its gaze. I won't kill Shulk today. <laughs> uh, and then it is going to bite at you and claw at Shulk. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, it just barely misses you with the bite. And barely misses Shulk with the claw. Yeah. <laughs> two sixteens rolled against two AC-17 characters. <laughs> that's hilarious. I actually have AC-19 currently. Oh. Because I'm used to... Oh, that's right, yeah. Yep. So I guess it, it would have been barely, except, like, you see it coming and just kind of duck your head real fast. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, yeah, that's that guy's t turn. Uh, the guy next to the other four, uh, he, uh, he is no longer stunned, so he's going to attack Rowan, because uh, Rowan has done the most damage to him. Loser. Uh, Rowan, I need you to make another charisma save. Ah. Uh, oh my goodness. Um, 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 um. Eh? <laughs> nice. Hey, you're good. Woo! Yeah, you guys are just na nailing these charisma saves. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, and then it attacks you twice, Rowan, and hits both <gasps> times. Uh, for a total of 53 points of damage. Oh, come on! <laughs> Why? How come the people with an AC-17 <laughs> can dodge everything flying their way? <laughs> Me over here, 20 is like, smack, 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 smack. Hi, Rowan, let's <laughs> talk. I didn't too dodge the, to first die. Five, the first three attacks, remember? <laughs> you got hit six times, okay? Yeah, I didn't dodge a single one. Aren't you like a sorcerer? This makes sense. <laughs> you said AC-17. He's a very beefy sorcerer. Oh, man. Very... All right. Speaking of the beefy sorcerer, Gesh, it's your turn. Okay. I'm going to cast a Cone of Cold, and I'm going to heighten it. Okay. Con save at disadvantage. That will cancel out the advantage he normally has. Uh, he succeeds, so that is 16 points of cold damage, uh, and he is resistant to cold damage, so have again to 8. Damn. Okay, then I'd like to, uh... Hmm. Change position so he doesn't know where you're at? Yeah, definitely moving, like, down and, like, up, like, under Shilk. Sure. And Easy enough. I can still do a bonus action, right? Yep. It it's uh you just gotta either quicken it uh, or a spell that is normally a bonus action, and it can't be higher than second level. Mm -hmm. That works. There you go. Oh, uh, that is concentration, so that will drop your invisibility. Oh, then I will not do that. I okay. Forgot to look. Then I will just. Uh, yeah, do nothing else. Okay, sounds good. 
then Saga's turn. Uh, <laughs> she'll, she'll like get uh, Vatham to rotate the the thing a bit so that she can hit this guy. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then she will attack him. Uh, and she'll she's just gonna do her uh, <clears throat> her attacks, her flurry of blows. All right, so that is 25, 33, <clears throat> and it needs to make a deck save. Other me might be coming to join us. All right. Yeah, she just sent me a message, but yeah. middle, middle of combat. <laughs> yeah. And so that one is knocked prone. And also takes 20d6 fall damage. And not that you guys know it, but it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yay. Hey. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hey there. Hi. Hi. I might leave early if I get a phone call, though. That's fine. It's understandable. Yeah with the situation. <clears throat> uh, Saga has been very useful in combat with her uh, ability to knock people prone and fall yeah. hundreds of feet. <laughs> and die from fall damage. She is out of key points. Yeah. She doesn't have a lot of them. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, so, yeah, that was Saga's turn, which brings us to Shilk. Cool. I'm gonna attack this thing. Okay. Boom. Fuck. Yeah, that'll miss. Alright, I'm gonna try again. Okay. Boom. Okay. Well, you don't, you don't get the, uh, the thunder damage. Unless you're, oh, are you quickening it? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, no, just a regular attack. Okay. Just can't, yeah, can't cast the yeah. spell. Yeah, so, ten piercing. And technically, you have an ally. Oh, plus you're a swashbuckler, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so you can yeah. roll sneak attack on that as well. Woo! Nice. <clears throat> and you uh, stab it, and it lets out uh, a low squeal before... Uh, its wings go slack and it starts falling into the darkness below. Mm -hmm. I like the picture, I just stab through it and it just slides off the sword before Paul, but I could just... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um... Cool. Uh, and... These two here, seeing uh, their friends die, are just gonna fuck off. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we are out of combat. Keep playing. I'm gonna end the haste right here. Alright, and then we're good. <laughs> okay, nice. All right. So, what would the party like to do? Just fly away from the cliff face wall, uh -huh. off into the darkness. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. My screen uh, is just nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh. Does Stagna also not have sight for some reason? Okay. Oh. Now it's our it's favorite there. map, though. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's fucking our yeah, favorite 40 place. pixel map. <laughs> <laughs> For the entire thing. Yeah, yeah, 40 pixels are spread across, you know. <laughs> I, I think it's hilarious how much tiles. you guys make fun of it, because it, it, it's not as bad as you keep making it sound. I feel like you see something different. <laughs> no, because I'm looking at the same thing that's on the stream, and like I can see 
the 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 triangle trail and the log and the individual the triangle rock. trail, Mike, Mike, that's barely a triangle. Okay. No, it's a triangle. It's just a really low quality triangle. Triangle, you can see it. Okay, yeah. No. Actually, okay, Tori, maybe you're sitting too close to your screen. No, no, no! Even zoomed out, this has <laughs> maybe 80 no, pixels. I just leaned back, and things look a lot more defined now. <laughs> that's, that's not a good thing! I leaned back in my chair all just, of a sudden. Just I leaned back and kind of you're shifted fine. to the side, and now it looks great. Sort of, sort of tilted my head a little bit, <laughs> squinted. Yeah, squint, it looks fine. Turn the lights the, down to like a mid-low. Sorry, Mike is gonna kill us one day. We're gonna yeah. deserve it. Here, here's the best option. <laughs> Just close your eyes and picture a better map. Problem solved. Uh, <laughs> oh but see, God. I like to spend my night making fun of this map. <laughs> You're going to get us killed. I like to, as they say, be Josh in it. <laughs> Josh like never makes fun the, of the uh, map. <laughs> And I died on Monday. I do what I want. Well, you didn't just die. Let me tell you. <laughs> I know. It was you a lost death, your heart. Right. I... If, if eviscerated were, were a term that fit that situation, I would use it. But unfortunately, yeah. you just got your heart ripped out. Yeah, it's fun. Oof. God. All right. It, it's back now. Not the same one. but Not you know. that Omri really had a heart. But. Wow. So do, wow. Yep. <laughs> do you guys fly for the remaining 10 minutes of your flies before you uh, <laughs> descend down? Uh, Might yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. You fly along for several hundreds of feet and I try and keep complete. Like the best I can. Yeah, in, in complete darkness. Uh, you guys just going at a normal fly pace uh, so that. Kesh can keep up with you guys going at a dash every round, basically. Um, and uh, as your flies end and you have to go back to just levitating, uh, you guys kind of start descending down towards the ground because you are just kind of in a complete black void of darkness. Mm -hmm. No lights anywhere in sight. Um, and you descend descend and descend uh, until finally Rowan being uh, having the best dark vision. Actually, Rowan and Vanya would both I, I completely forgot <laughs> that Vanya has Devil's Light. Um, uh, you guys see the ground rising up beneath you. However, uh, Rowan, it the, the, the ground to you looks a little strange. You can't quite make out the details. Uh, Do I need Vanya, to, like, tilt my head and, and squint at it a little? Yeah, it's almost like it's in 40, 40p <laughs> resolution. Uh, Vanya, having devil sight and can see normally in the darkness, uh, you can see that the ground uh, amidst the rocky crags of the ground is just uh, heavy with the skeletal remains of many dead creatures. Uh, many oh. humanoid bones... Uh, more elongated, strange uh, bones that you would guess to be demon bones, which is strange because uh, having only really dealt with demons on the material plane, you're used to them just turning into goop, uh, mm -hmm. the black ichor that they revert to when they die, um, as well as uh, other bones of unknown creatures that you can only imagine what, what they belong to. And the ground is just littered with them. Are you are you muted? Hello? No. Okay. Sorry. I was just I waiting. Was I just see yep. I just see weird things, so I'm waiting to see what Um, no, I would I would relay that warn people to be careful while they're landing all right yeah you the party uh learns of the skeletal terrain uh and you you all definitely start to notice uh the jagged bits of broken bone as you 
descend down and eventually land onto the rocky crags below. So what would the party like? Nice! Do we see anything else as we're landing? No, not really. Nothing hostile around us. You can make a perception check if you like. Oh, uh, absolutely. Those, that, those relying on dark vision make theirs a disadvantage. Those by the suck. Uh, if you like, you can make a hearing check, Fathom. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a smell out. check. <laughs> yeah. So Anything we... to cancel out this disadvantage. So if we have dark vision, we're rolling at disadvantage. Uh, yeah, but you have Devil's Sight, so it's just a straight roll for you. Because <laughs> I forgot to click it. I stood up to stretch, and as soon as I stood up, Umbrasil was like, "Ooh, chair!" <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "I don't get to sit here very often." Get to sit there all the fucking time. <laughs> all right. Let's um. Let's see. The. I'm assuming the uh, the nine is at Amity's. Yes. Gotcha. Uh, so pretty much everybody but Amity, uh, you don't see anything. However, you do hear the creaking of metal uh, off in the distance. Does it sound like? When we were encountering that big metal creature in the jungle, no, uh, it's well, it's it's similar. However, uh, that metallic creature uh, was uh, mechanized so that it was constantly swirling, uh, like like a metal drill through the earth. Mm -hmm. um, this metal clanking sound. Uh, as you kind of listen, uh, kind of sounds like footsteps. Okay. Can I do Vine Fen? Yep. I don't remember what happened last time. I feel like it was bad, but okay. Well, uh, you just hear it, which means it's outside the range of the, your dark vision, um, so it would also be outside the range of your Divine Fen. Okay. Maybe we move carefully. It sounds like it's walking towards us, right? Um, no, it just looks like it's walking around. You can't tell if it's coming close or moving away from you or if it's going adjacent to you. Okay. <laughs> um,. Would you like to stealth as you move ahead? Probably should. Sure! Mm hmm. Alright, then I would like a group stealth check. Pass without trace, pass without trace. Woo! Alright, so you got the, the pass without trace. Nice. Guys, nice. tired. Well, I uh. Honestly, with the pass without trace, you guys don't really need to roll. Because <laughs> the thing you're avoiding has a passive perception, has a passive perception of ten. <laughs> so literally, if you roll a nat one, it like uh, unless you unless you roll a nat one and have a negative dex, which none of you do, mm -hmm. you you will avoid this creature. <laughs> Wait, I'll also go invisible, so I roll an advantage. <laughs> I mean, you technically are in darkness. 
but the 23 squad. This is true. Maybe I'll roll another one. Damn. Oh Aren't you still part of the squad? <laughs> Alright, uh, as you guys creep around... Um... Combat music is so loud. <laughs> oh yeah, I should like, probably We're like, we're just stealthing and it's like... Dun, 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 dun. I'm like, what the fuck is going it's on? It's very intense stealthing. <laughs> I was gonna say, um... I was like, half of my guards or what? <laughs> yeah, as you guys uh, creep around the bone-laden crags of this area, um, do you guys get close enough to see what this thing is? We kind of do. do. Do we want to? Question mark. I mean, I mean, I've already told you it has a shit past perception. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like Rowan should, or I'll go with her. I go invisible. Poof. <laughs> If she went invisible, she might as well go. Okay, well, yeah, it's just like, hey, Rowan, do you want to check out? And she's gone. <laughs> like, yay! Oh, God, I have 13 HP. This could end terribly. <laughs> yeah. Yep, let's hope it doesn't have tremor sense. <clears throat> so, uh, you move up, um, and as you get uh, within 120 feet of it, so it comes within... The range of your dark vision, uh, you can see um, that wading through the uh, rocky crags uh, is a 12 foot tall metallic creature that is just covered with spikes. Uh, and you can see. Um, that as it is moving, it's almost like searching the area, uh, for places. Uh, and, uh, you see it stop and, uh, reach down with its big metallic gauntlet and pull up, uh, a, uh, set of skeletal bones that, uh, are still fresh enough that they're, um, keeping together... Uh, from some, like, muscly sinew or some, like, cartilage. Uh, and you see uh, its large kind of barrel-like chest uh, open up where you see dozens of other piles of bones and it just throws the bone into it. Um, yep. And then it walks a little bit farther uh, and you see it uh, reach down and pick up uh, a um, heavily decomposed corpse uh, but still has some meat on its body uh, and you see it just kind of throw it uh, it over its shoulder where it is impaled on the spikes uh, and you can see what you initially thought might be like some kind of cape uh, is actually just uh, several dead bodies just impaled nope. onto the spiked back of this creature nope nope can and, I tell nope. what the dead bodies are or do they all um, look very aberration-esque? Uh, they actually... Or fiend-esque, sorry. Uh, actually, you notice that all the, the bodies that it's taking are humanoid bodies. Oh. Of a variety of different races. Oh. Do any of them... Like, do I see anything that is, like, that I've seen on Vatham? Like, no, no. stuff that they might be wearing, if they're still wearing anything? <laughs> Uh, no, it's, it's, it's too hard to tell. Okay. Uh, like, all of the bodies seem to, like, they've been picked over, so they don't really mm. have any, like, gear on them. Ooh. Okay. And it's walking towards us? Uh, it doesn't seem to be walking in any specific direction. It just seems to be walking along, uh, uh, sorry, walking among the dead, looking for corpses and bones to collect. Yeah, I'm not down for the creepy walking metal torture device, so I turn around and go back to the group. <laughs> okay. Um, we don't want to go that way. What's that way? No, you don't. You I couldn't even... This would be like me trying to explain the creepy dead baby thing again, okay? It's not a dead baby this time. It's just a really tall, like, metal thing that is collecting bodies. Can we please go? Not that way. Yeah? Okay, cool. Let's go. <laughs> Alright. That sounds really cool, though. No, it's really not. 
it had skeletons on the inside and then bodies on its back like a cape and it was mm -mm. could i is that better just try and figure out what the fuck it was um yeah you can make a arcana check uh, um I'll, I'll i'll give you advantage on this this is what like i think that this would fall in our view i think what's up yeah, I would I would say this would give you advantage. Yeah. All right. Uh, you recognize this? Um. Despite this... her very vague descriptions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you would recognize this creature as uh something called a cadaver collector, which is a construct used by uh necromancers and other purveyors of dark magics uh to collect Cadavers? dead bodies no way <laughs> i know right uh collect dead bodies uh and other uh mm -hmm. grisly things in order to be used in their dark rituals see i'm gonna relay that to the party yeah can we not go near the thing that's looking to collect bodies in case it tries to turn us into one Agreed. Okay, let's go other way. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you, Joe. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I wanted to know exactly what it looked like. No, I don't. Want yeah. To. Uh -huh. See, <laughs> in my head, I just had that really, that, that really tall metal thing from Thor, but with a lot of spikes on it and, like, the rated R version. <laughs> <laughs> Eh, it's close, but mm -hmm. I think this one's a bit more grisly. Mm -hmm. Kind of mm -hmm. got a cute face. Yeah, the face <laughs> is quite cute if you just cut out all the gore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Um, okay, so. Go the other way. Cool. Do you guys just want to keep going, or do you want to, like, start looking for somewhere to rest? We should probably find some place to rest soon, because I feel like it's been a while. It has yeah. been a while. Plus, everybody is super tired. Super yep. fucked up. Super yep. tapped. Yeah, I am out of... I'm, I am out of bears. <laughs> oh, that never happens. Uh, let's say Amity can make us a... Uh... Wait, is it still the hut, or did she get the OP version of the hut? <laughs> Um, I don't know if she has the Does mansion. she have the mansion? I thought she got the mansion. Maybe. She got the mansion, yeah. Yeah. Ah, hey, mansion. there you go. Yeah. So you guys can hide away from this horrible reality <laughs> in a nice mansion of Amity's design. Too bad yeah. she's not here to design it for you. I cannot well, wait to pretend. hear about it, though. We'll yeah. hear about it next session, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, so you guys kind of go a good distance away from the cadaver collector, uh, so that you're not, like, right next to it, um, mm -hmm. and find a good place, uh, away, away where the, uh, the bones and bodies are far and few, and Amity casts her magnificent mansion, and you all head inside. Mm -hmm. And she has to do it at 8th level. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, she doesn't have a 7th level spell slot. Fair enough. I don't know when it got used, but I'm assuming it was a teleport. Uh, yeah, she I tried believe... to yeah. teleport us out. Yeah, yeah that's she tried to right. teleport yeah. out of the coral den, but that was uh, mm -hmm. purposely mm -hmm. nullified. <laughs> yep, that's what that was. Yep, so 8th level Magnificent Mansion. Cool. Um, and... I would say I feel like this is a good time to end it. I know it's a little early, but uh, it is Amity's mansion, and I feel like she would want to be here for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. I agree with that. As well as whatever planning <laughs> you guys want to do. <laughs> Listen, this is a very intricate Thing that we're gonna have to do. We need to practice beforehand, or we'll fail miserably. Okay. <laughs> I need advantage on certain things to make this work well. Technically, the group hasn't even 
in game discussed anything about it. Exactly. That, that is too. true. We can't just show up to the tent and be like, I mean, The players right. have plans. The characters <laughs> Let's have go. nothing at the moment. Yeah. Exactly. That's why I was like, three days? Perfect. Mike, <laughs> fuck you. You guys get three hours. <laughs> I was trying to streamline it, but here, yeah, have your three days of wandering across the Deadlands. Thank you. <laughs> it's alright. Looking Pushed forward to quality time together. This is so good. <laughs> yeah. This is actually perfect because I once again got called into work tomorrow. So, oh, okay. I'm going to bed. So, as I've been trying to save for the last minute, so uh, nope. I'm going to end the stream nope. here, so thanks nope. for watching. Glory <laughs> Hush. And we will catch you next week. Thanks, bye. Tori, be quiet. But I didn't say anything. Right, good night, everybody. <laughs> I do what I want. <laughs>